executive producer. Finally, here we go. Holly Longdale. Finally. Wow. What's up, BlizzCon? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see you all here. This is fantastic. Well, can you believe we've been playing World of Warcraft for almost 20 years? <laughs> you know, 2004 was a while ago, right? You know, some of us, we waited in those lines for those midnight releases and got our discs. Yeah! <laughs> and we raced home to install those WoW discs one by one. <laughs> Across nearly two decades, players all over the world have taken part in the stories of Jaina, Sylvanas, Arthas, <laughs> and Thrall, <laughs> and of course, so many others. And together, we've jumped through the portal into Outlands. We sailed off into Northrend. And we watched Sargeras stab the world with that sword. <laughs> During that time, gaming has changed. And you have changed. And so have we, particularly in the past year. The entire team across both modern and classic have embraced their communities. We are truly listening to your voices and taking action. My friends at BlizzCon, now is the perfect time to prepare to close chapters, open new ones, and double down on why we all fell in love with World of Warcraft Come in on. the first place. Okay. <laughs> You've made your speech that nobody gives a shit about. <laughs> with that in mind, let's get to it. As many of you know, WoW Classic was born out of the community's passion. <laughs> Classic Plus. And of course, most of you know that still <laughs> drives us today, like just in August, inspired by our community. I can't take it. Here it comes. Okay. Hardcore. Please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in hardcore, you only get one life. And if you die, you may laugh, you may cry, you may have to replace a keyboard. Uh, <laughs> but you go again. <laughs> We've loved watching you take on the challenge. Damn, I didn't realize Classic was that popular. Uh, and because the hardcore community has asked, the team is planning to add a new way to play hardcore early next year. <laughs> TBC Hardcore? And last month in Wrath Classic, we released the Fall of the Lich King patch. Yeah, with the Brain Crusade, but... <laughs> Apparently TBC Classic was... This year, we looked at your feedback to think about where are we going to go next. <laughs> we read through a lot, and I mean a lot of your feedback on social media forums, and we sent out surveys to our players. And here at BlizzCon, we're happy to announce Cataclysm is coming. <laughs> oh, there we go, Cataclysm. It's coming with hashtag changes uh, based on your feedback, just like you'd expect from Classic. So now, let's jump into the Wayback Machine and get a reminder of all things Cataclysm. I'm actually kind of excited for Cataclysm because yeah. I I completely skipped Cataclysm as an expansion. I'd like to try it out. I played it. It was pretty fun. Uh, I didn't have anybody to play with at the time, but uh, my kids were still young, so I think all I was able to do was do LFR. Yeah, it's like it's actually like it changed the world 
like the maps and everything in the world were different. Like all the cities are different. Cities suck. Yeah, it was a full upgrade. And they said it was an upgrade, but it was yeah. a, it was a horrible downgrade. Like, some places better, some places were worse off. Well, that's for sure. Stormwind fucking was, was shitty. So like you had yep. to go, you had to go to fucking Iron Court. I wonder what changes they're gonna make to Cataclysm. Like maybe they're gonna make the first raids not as hard. How do I fucking disable? That's why they brought the all back. <laughs> Somebody said classic plus. <laughs> get ready, my friends, because the I love the passion, by the way. Uh, get ready, my friends, because the the road to Deathwing's destruction is coming in the first half of next. I can't year. wait for classic Shadowlands, honestly. I think they'll stop at uh, right. uh, Mist, maybe. Now, over the past four years, I do Mist happily for sure. No, they'll probably stop at Warlords. The vanilla experience, and oh, classic plus. It. So much, in fact. That we thought we'd add some unique yeah come on classic plus with a seasonal note <sighs> dash of discovery oh Isn't like january spicy? february wow. what <laughs> with a spicy i got a level of 70. you're going to discover new secrets as you scour the world and find class altering abilities <laughs> <laughs> have you ever wondered what it might be like to be a tanking warlock <laughs> what the fuck? Take on the role of a mage healer? What? <laughs> In Season of Discovery, you can. <laughs> it's a mastery? The season is going to launch with no. an initial level cap of 25. And when you hit like that next level, you'll be met with a brand new level 25. No. Mage. You'll discover a brand new 10-player Black Fathom Deeps raid with new what? reimagined bosses, Pass. mechanics, and of course, rewards. Then, after a couple of months, we'll raise the level cap a bit. You'll find even more endgame content, and so it will go. If you're here at BlizzCon, you can play the Black Fathom Deeps raid in the Warcraft Hall. <laughs> If you love classic or are just a little intrigued about what exactly a warlock king can do, go check it out. <laughs> For all of you watching online, don't worry. You won't have to wait long to play. Because we want you to discover all of the secrets together, there will be no public testing. WoW Classic Season of Discovery launches in a few short weeks on November what the 30th. fuck? <laughs> had that already. <laughs> For more information on the season of Discovery and Cataclysm, don't miss the classic panel this afternoon. 
All right, now it's time to talk to my dragon riders in modern WoW. <laughs> People are actually excited, or is it just the energy in the room? Game updates about every eight weeks with more content sprinkled in between. Oh. We really want Azeroth to feel alive and the home you want to come back to no matter how you play. Our next major update, Guardians of the Dream, is going live in just five days. <sighs> I want to give a shout out to my elves. It is finally our time. I have 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes left. One week later, season three will start with the last raid of the expansion. Amir Drasil, the dream's hope. There we will have our final showdown with Karak and defend our new world tree. But fear not, that's not the end of our time in the Dragon Isles. There's a lot oh. more to come in Dragonflight that will serve as both the epilogue of this story and the bridge to our next one. Like I said earlier, we are evolving. We are changing is. our approach to this big, beautiful game. And how changing their approach? No, they called it last raid. BlizzCon, it's time for a new adventure. Oh. One that has grown from the very seeds of what captured our hearts when we first set foot in Azeroth. For veteran players, the last 20 years have led us to this. And for those who have yet to join us, now is the time. And who better to talk about the first That's step in this journey? <laughs> a new adventure. I think it's a new game, dude. <laughs> is it just, is it, is it Classic Plus? Well, shut up, let him say it. Then someone who carved the path in the first place, everyone. Please welcome my friend and the executive creative director of the Warcraft universe, Chris Metzen. Sorry, that was pretty weird, but still. <laughs> Standing ovation from my desk. Thank you. Thank you. It is, uh... <laughs> Thank you, guys. This is going to be fucking a big. Long, strange trip to get back to this spot. I tell you that. It has been interesting this past year, being back under the hood of World of Warcraft. It has reminded me of a few things. One, I love Warcraft. Number two, you know what? I really miss this work. And number three, on the real, it feels amazing to be back and part of this Blizzard family again. As Holly said a bit ago, next year is the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft. I can't even believe it. Whatever. How many of y'all have been playing from the beginning? I love you. Crazy. So given that, what was that? Doesn't matter. We started thinking, so what next, right? What expansion hook, what single storyline could possibly match such a historic occasion? We started thinking about, well, I did, the good old days, right? <laughs> and some of those 
early mythic ideas that kind of established the background of Warcraft. Started thinking about even some of the newer ideas that have played out more recently, but still in a way feel a little unresolved. And in the mix of all that stuff, in the mix of all those ideas, particular things like, God, what the hell has Magni actually been babbling about all these years? <laughs> Was the thing that he came to warn us about in Battle for Azeroth, did it, did it actually play out? Or is there potentially something darker still looming on the horizon? I don't know. <laughs> Will there eventually be an apocalyptic confrontation between the forces of the light and the void? Talk to me, BlizzCon. I'll tell you what, for nothing, my pally main, I'm all in on that kind of thing if it happens. And really the big question for all the marbles, what have the Titans actually been doing since the dawn of civilization? What is the real purpose of all of their cute little installations slammed into the side of the planet? <laughs> Do we know everything we need to know about their real intentions for our world? Just saying. <laughs> Just play the damn trailer, please. <laughs> All of these hooks and a hundred more. Uh, 68, carry the two, a bunch more. <laughs> All cooking in the pot. Started to reveal a storyline. Something epic. How epic? Real epic. <laughs> A storyline that in almost every way <laughs> feels like the culmination of the first 20 years of our storytelling. A storyline provided we, we do our jobs, we do the thing <laughs> that will vector us into the next 20 years of adventure. BlizzCon. Are you with me, BlizzCon? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we call this storyline the World Soul Saga. What the fuck? World Soul Saga. The World Soul Saga is so epic, as we covered. It cannot be contained. Within any yeah, we're fucking here, dude. Expansion. Yep, wow, too. It is built to play <laughs> out over multiple expansions over the next few years. Yeah, you got it. Yep, it's wow, too. Come on now. Yep. <laughs> Fuck me. We're going to live to wow, too. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Having said that, we are working on multiple ways to deliver this adventure to you a little faster than you're used to. Yep, yearly expansions. We're not going to get into it at this BlizzCon. Forgive me. Ah. But keep your ears open. <laughs> I assure you, we are moving with purpose. And the last thing we really want is for y'all to have to have your grandkids controlling your mouse and your keyboard trying to wrap this thing up. <laughs> so it's coming. <laughs> also. Given the scale of this monster, we have decided to change it up today. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Instead of just <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's okay. Your next expansion, all on its lonesome. We have decided to give you a glimpse at your next Three expansions. Three fucking expansions? <laughs> Three fucking expansions? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Does this meet with your approval, BlizzCon? <laughs> yes! Three expansions! What the fuck? My friends, I'm gonna warn you, there may be mild spoilers ahead. <laughs> what? Actually, I'm just kidding. They ain't mild. Buckle up. <laughs> Are you ready, BlizzCon? Yeah. Three fucking expansions? Are you kidding me? The first part of the World Soul Saga and your tenth expansion is called World of Warcraft, The War Within. <laughs> In this chapter, you will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself. Exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen and the terrifying Nerubians of Ashpahet. <laughs> but as the forces of darkness close in around our precious world soul, you, yeah, that's you will be called to do what you always do, which is dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Talk to me, BlizzCon! The second part of the World Soul Saga is called World of Warcraft. Midnight. 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 Yep, they named it after me. No. <laughs> In this chapter, you will be returning, ready, to the old world. What? What? To the fabled what? lands of Quel Thalas. There, the forces of the void have invaded Azeroth. Intent on <laughs> snuffing out the light of the sun well and plunging the world into darkness and fear. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow forever. World of Warcraft Midnight aimed it after me. Of course. BlizzCon, it is Azeroth. Things may not go to plan. Things may just spiral wildly out of control, leading us to the third part of the World Soul Saga. World of Warcraft, the last Titan. Ooh. <laughs> In this chapter, you will again be returning to the old world. This time, to the wintry lands of Northrend. <laughs> Northrend! Yes! 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 And yes! There, at Ulduar, Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. Return to Northrend! And We're fighting there, Azeroth. You will uncover a vast conspiracy. Ooh. One that stretches throughout the history of the world. One that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions, and the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend. In time. <laughs> and it's called Silithus. There you go. <laughs> Blizzcon, my hope, our dear hope, is that you can see when it comes to WoW's storytelling, we ain't screwing around. We are playing for all the marbles. We are working to establish a thundering heartbeat for They're going to revamp Northrend. Now. <laughs> Cinematic. Just give us now, now, Blizzcon. Hearken to me. Always wanted to say that. 
Thank you. Whether you are a current player, and I'm going to bet that most of you are, <laughs> or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. Now is the time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff, and get in this fight. <laughs> Friends, Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever. Where's the cinematic? Now. In a few moments, we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within. Yeah. But before we do that, I want to leave you with a little something to chew on. I want to remind you all that sometimes very epic things can begin with small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one of those moments. And with that, Liz Khan. Proud defenders of Azeroth! Let the World Soul Saga begin! <laughs> this is pretty good. This is pretty damn good. Like. Ooh, it's Anduin. So the first one's going to be the war within. The fact that they announced three expansions is nuts. I'm guessing it's it's a yearly expansion or an 18 month expansion. You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Thrall! Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. <clears throat> You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. Something. Someone is calling out from the heart of the world like a voice from a dream <laughs> something dark is coming and so bad <laughs> the world needs your light again my son I'm not that person anymore. I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. Kill him! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hear me. The 
are getting worse. Look, whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword. Yep, there's the sword. At someone. The sword is aimed at someone. not ignoring that sword anymore. <laughs> I do have to say, though, uh, every time I see that cinematic, and I've seen it many times, it gets me right in my heart. Uh, it feels like a new beginning, and it feels like coming home. And we are so excited about where we are going. And now that you've seen <laughs> or heard the overview for the World So Saga, let's talk about the war within. Oh, here we go. As we all gather and explore beneath the surface, we'll find an ancient Nerubian civilization. Features? It will be led by someone we were first introduced to in Legion. Zalatath, a harbinger of the Void. The Void brings destruction and darkness that threatens all light in our world. The last time we saw Zalatath, she promised we would meet again. And it turns out she was right. And while Anduin, Thrall, and others share the same visions emanating from the heart of the world, some are seeing something quite different. Cinematic, or right, well, the. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Features time. My visions are not the same as the others. No radiance, no song, just the shadow taunting me from below. As Kahet, you zone. There we go. Come on, support specializations. You zone, Isle of Dorn, and two zones. Not Avalorn, the Ringing Deeps. Oh, these, these might be like one continent. <clears throat> Hollowfall. Delves. What are Delves? Oh. Forger Warband. Hero Talents. Hero Talents? Uncover Earth and Allied Race. Ooh, new Allied Race. Elevate your mounts with dynamic flight. Yep. Dungeons and Raids. Hero Talents. The port, maybe? The fate of our world rests upon the edge of a knife. And our battle lies deep within. In the war within, alongside beautiful, unique underground zones, we will have challenging dungeons and raids and some new features too that are built to last. If you like exploring on your own with a couple of friends or family, we have Dells. These are a variety of bite-sized experiences for one to five players that will offer end-game rewards. You may also find in your Delve a familiar character who'd be willing to fight alongside you. And if you're like me and you have an obsession with alts, 
We have war bands. <laughs> <laughs> war bands. With this feature, you could treat all of your characters like family and share banks, reputations, transmogs. Well, they did it. Account right, everything. <laughs> introducing a new layer of customization for your class specs with hero talent. You might want to take your character down the path of a dark ranger, let's say, or a far seer, and more. <laughs> <laughs> also, during your travels underground, you will meet the earthen dwarves, and you'll be able to unlock them as our new allied race. I mean, who doesn't love a dwarf? Uh, the facial hair options are spectacular. Dark Ranger. Uh, the, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. So please join the what, what next panel? <laughs> All right, I have right to go pee. Opening ceremony right here. Looks like we are what getting like subclasses. Is that the call to get into the fight to save our world will ring out when the War Within releases next year. And lastly, I sincerely want to say, we are so excited to begin this new journey with you. And from our hearts to yours, thank you for bringing our world to life. <laughs> and now with his own note of th thanks, <laughs> Mike Ibarra. Thank you to all the teams who presented today. There really is so much to look forward over the next two days. And this is only the beginning. I can't wait to walk the halls of all of Anaheim with all of you. It is truly a joy to be here with the Blizzard team and our players. BlizzCon, be great to each other and enjoy the show. Well, thanks for streaming, man. Okay. See you guys again. BlizzCon 2023 would like to thank our partners. Xbox. Yeah, my hop off. I'm gonna get these headphones off. It's fun hanging out, though. I'll get you guys later. Omen. Game later. Live. HTC Live Mods Virtual Production Made Simple. All right, guys. So that that is it for the uh, World of Warcraft. It looks like yes, we are getting support specializations because we're getting dark. Ra I mean, this is big. This is some of the biggest news I've ever seen. But you guys take care.